In this tutorial, we'll be changing our sword swing to a combo swing. This means that we can attack as many times as we want. Then when I'm doing swing twice, we can do that. Swing once, I just click once. We are building off of the sword attack system I made before. So make sure you watch that video before you watch this one as it uses the same code. Make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment and join my Discord. So first things first, we are going to need our animations. To find the animation, you're gonna wanna go to Mixmo and search for attack combo. I went for the one hand sword combo, and now we slightly increase the speed just because I thought it was a bit slow. Now there isn't an in place tick, and with Mixmo animations that move, if you enable root motion, which means the player will move with the animation, it kinda just gets stuck. So to fix that, we will need to go to Blender and fix it ourselves. But if you don't wanna do that, I've linked this animation fixed in the link in the description. However, I recommend following these steps since it is really simple if you already have Blender installed. To fix this is simple, you just need to go to a GitHub page called Mixmo Converter. I'll leave a link to that in the description. And this is just a Blender animation, so you'll also need Blender installed. Just open that up and go to code and download zip. You can check the code just in case you think you're downloading the virus. You can follow the instructions here, but if you go to edit, preferences, add-ons, and install, you can search for the file you downloaded and press install atom, then delete everything and import fbx or whatever you download the animation as and search for the animation you want to fix. If you play the animation, you can confirm this is the one you want to fix. Select everything and press M on your keyboard. There's a but button at the bottom called Mixamo. The default settings are fine, just press convert single. Once you have converted the animation, you can go file, export, and FBX, and export your skeleton, drag and drop it into the Unreal Engine, and just press import. This will export the animation skeleton mesh, the animation, and the skeleton. If you click here, there won't be anything. That's because we didn't have a skin. So just right click, retarget animations, and change your target, and select the animation here. Double click it. You can see this on right bot, and you can see this on the money. You can choose this with any model you want. So pick the one you're using, and export animations. Select a folder. And I'm going to delete all of the old files because we will not need them. And if we open this up, you can see it moves. And if we say for root motion and tick it, you will see it is not stuck in place anymore. And that is all you need to fix it. The reference pose should be in the setting that you choose. This means that when the animation is moving, the player capture component will move with it. Now, Inside C++, we are going to make some changes to the attack code we made in the other video. In the header file, we are going to create a e function loopprint callable, and it's void on attack combo. So every time, as you can see here, if I can pause it, every time it swings, we are going to call the all attack combo and if we're not attacking we're going to stop but if we've clicked and we want to continue attacking we're going to go again until it's checked again have we clicked and should we go forward or back another thing we want to make is a use property different read right and it's gonna be a build be is buffing as hell. And I believe that is all. So first of all, if we're not already attacking, we want to start attacking. But if we're in the middle of the attack, we want to set this buffing true 
This means that we've clicked and we want to continue the attack combo. This buffering attack. In the attack combo, if we are buffering, so if if we're buffering the attack, it's automatically just gonna play out. So we just need to set buffering. If we're not buffering, it means you want to stop attacking. So we need to stop the attack by just doing hit mesh, hit animation instance. The same as starting the animation, except it's montage underscore stop. And there are some inputs we need in here. It is just a blend out time. We just do 0.5 seconds. Or maybe even lower point two. And now that we stopped attacking, we want to set B is attacking false. We want to set should do the damage false. And just in case we're gonna set this buffering attack. So let's just to make sure we've definitely stopped attacking. Now we want to close this and compile. I forgot to mention to create an animation montage from your attack combo animation. Inside the attack combo montage, we're gonna right click, we're gonna click on this notify track, and we're gonna add a track one and two. You can name these if you want. The first one is going to be in the notify state and it's going to be in the attack notify state. So when we want to deal damage, why does this not work? Hello? We want to deal damage in the start of the heal. This is broken. This has been why why no work? Why why no work? Why why no work? There we go. And we want to stop the attack. We can do this. And since there's multiple attack combos, we're going to add multiple notify states starting the attack and ending the attack. And we can save and we can look back just to see if we're happy with when the attacks are happening, when we'll be dealing damage. Next, we're going to go into notifiers. Going to create another preprint class. Search for notify. This one's going to be a regular animation notify. And it's going to be called on attack combo. And it's going to be functions override receive notify. We're going to get owner. And we're going to cast to player out of the cast field. We want to return, and if it hasn't failed, we want to call on attack combo function. And then we'll tick the return node as it's been successfully called. This is just the function we have made here being called for notify. So every time the attack ends, we want to check if we want to continue attacking. And I'm just going to put it at the end of every attack, just about so. Maybe a little bit after. And in the last one, we just want to end the attack. So we can just Create a new notify state called BP on attack here. Open this up. Once again, we're going to want to use the same function with save notify. We can delete this. If you didn't duplicate it, just do the same cast we did before. And inside the notify state, on notify end, 
we said is the attacking defaults. We want to delete that and instead put it in here. And we also want to set is profile attack defaults as well. So now if we go here, set the attack animation to our combo. We can see if we swing once and don't click, it stops. I think that it does two swings for some reason. If we go into the player, for some reason it is set to true on the first click. Maybe it is the input type actually. Oh yeah, and it's a trigger when I release the attack. Okay, that's why. Right. Never mind. We don't even need to do that. It is because the input was being called when I pressed and when I was released. So this was always being called twice. So as you can see, we press once, it only swings once. We press again, it only swings twice. And if we press it every time, the attack will go all the way through. Now, for some reason, I can't be attacking after that. So once again, I'm gonna check. Oh, I just realized I never set the Back and we can set that just at the end though. And now we can continue attacking the combo. It's a quick tutorial, but I hope that it was helpful. And if you'd like to see any more, let me know in the comments. And feel free to join my Discord. We can a bunch of members in. And we have our own server tag, so I really appreciate it. If you start, love cult. See ya.